Hi, it's time for another All Manufacturers Update. In particular, we'll be talking about the latest batch from Bobcat, batch number 9. That has been greatly disappointing, to be perfectly fair. We'll also take a look at Long AP's disastrous second attempt at another sale. And then we'll look at all the other providers. Towards the end of this video, I will be also making you aware of up-and-coming vendors. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. Hey everyone, Crypto Layman here. Thank you very much for coming back. I'm here today with another Helium Hotspot Manufacturers update. We'll take a look at every single one of the manufacturers and we will take a look as to where they are at the moment and what we can expect in the coming weeks and months. Before I get into this update, please make sure that you're aware of scammers down below in the comment section. Please remember, I will never share any information with you in terms of contact details for anybody who can potentially or allegedly earn you a ton of money etc if you read something along those lines please remember that is likely to be a scam and do not engage with these people thank you very much and now without further ado we'll jump into this uh, first vendor so we will talk about the long ap disaster as we know long ap have admitted that this sale they attempted a couple of days ago went horribly horribly wrong let me just quickly let you know what happened so long ap moved their payment gateway to a shopify store when the orders opened the items were actually sold out within five minutes or so some people even say they couldn't even get an order in after one minute of them opening there was a fair bit of traffic that was handled fine there were no issues in terms of website crashing etc however the issue this time was on a completely different scale instead of selling the amount of products that they had they ended up somehow selling 10 times the amount that they actually had in stock that obviously was a disaster in itself so they then had to go back and cancel all those orders they cancelled primarily all the orders that were made using a credit card and they are saying that the reason for this mess mishap was that uh, their credit card provider or their partner was not prepared to take on the massive risk associated with credit card payments. Extremely disappointing. So anyhow, Long AP are saying that uh, they have now put everything on hold because they need to iron out all these issues and they will not be opening for pre-orders for their Long AP Pro and the Long AP Lite for the foreseeable future. And they are currently working on processing refunds to people who have been charged and the orders have been cancelled subsequently that's it in terms of the update from long ap we'll move on to the next big disappointment which is bobcat's batch number nine in this batch the u.s orders the cutoffs are 126,631, and for eu orders the cutoff number is 131,855 just to put that into context batch number eight the eu cutoff was 131,751 and for this one it's 131,855 which is 104 orders that have been processed in batch nine in batch eight the orders were processed up to the 23rd of april before 1 50 a.m and in batch number nine the orders placed on the same date, the 23rd of April, have been processed up to 4.29 a.m. So, really disappointing. Only 104 orders processed in this entire batch. I was hoping that my personal miner was going to be in this batch, but by the looks of it, I'll probably be a couple of batches further down the line um, if they continue at this pace. Now, for U.S. orders, the cutoff on the last batch was 126,390 and the cutoff on batch 9 is 126,631 which gives you a grand total of 241 orders that they have processed in this batch again they have processed only one day's worth of orders in this batch for us customers now that is hugely disappointing a grand total of 345 orders have been processed 
for this entire batch. They have posted an update on their website and, and tried to explain as to what has happened. So the reason they are giving is that they have had to move their factory from Wuhan to Shenzhen, which has impacted their production rate, etc. And they have also said that there is a chip shortage, as we all know, and things have been worsened in terms of the chip shortage due to Malaysia being hit severely by COVID-19. That's something that's beyond our control. We can't unfortunately do anything about it. So they're saying that now the orders processed will be more towards the end of the lead time. If you placed an order before the 1st of May 2021, you were given a lead time of between 8 to 12 weeks. And henceforth, the estimated shipping time is going to be closer to 12 weeks for those orders placed before the 1st of May. For those who placed orders on or after the 1st of May, the lead times given were 12 to 20 weeks, and now apparently they are going to be towards the end of so, sort of that lead time, so more towards 20 weeks rather than the 12 week estimate is going to be accurate. So that is where we stand. So I think Bobcat were looking really good, and now they have somehow managed to mess it all up. Now let's look at Synchrobit. Synchrobit are having some issues with the FCC certification and they are saying that they are trying to finish the FCC certification and finalize it in the next week. They are filling in 15 E forms and 15 C forms. The, the lab required some sort of a diagram and etc etc. So I'm not going to go into technicalities. Bottom line is that the FCC certification has been delayed there have been some hiccups and hopefully they will be completed in next week uh, in terms of shipping news from synchrobit george has been very kind and said here are some more useless pictures of the ones that left for the eu warehouse now from that i did use these boxes look like antenna boxes and those in the back look like the minor boxes are being shipped from china over to the EU warehouse. Again, as he says, it's a useless picture. I, I must agree because it doesn't tell me anything about these devices. What are they? What batch are they from? And what is going to happen with them? Absolutely no information at all. So thank you, George, for another useless picture. As you said, it is useless and the least helpful thing that I can think of. However, Thank you very much, nevertheless, for posting it. Now, let's move on to Nebra. And Nebra have started production for their outdoor units in anticipation of the FCC certification being received, which hopefully will be received fairly soon. Now, that is really it in terms of an update. Batch 2, as we said, has started to ship. Batch 3, the initial part of the batch is in production. And that is, that is pretty much it. There hasn't been any further developments since the last update. I will keep an eye on it. And as and when things develop, I will let you know. Now, let's move on to Rack Wireless. And I covered this in my previous updates that I did on Wednesday. The Lion batch is shipping in progress. The positive thing here is that they are also shipping one batch a week. If they continue at this rate, I think they will be able to keep those lead times that they have provided in the latest update. Batches will continue to roll off the production line and get to customers. I really hope that they can keep it up and ramp up the production uh, capacity, etc. And uh, that is it in terms of the update. Curlink, again, affected directly by Calchip because the curling hotspots or light hotspots are being manufactured by curling in partnership with Calchip Connect. So I will keep an eye on it and I will let you know. Now we move on to SenseCap by Seed Studios. As per my last update, they have passed their FCC certification. There is another bunch of tests that they need to participate in, but those are still ongoing and we will have to wait and see as to what happens with those. Again, if you want to get further updates regarding SenseCap and when they're ready to ship and take pre-orders, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, you hit that bell icon, and I will update you as soon as the information is released. 
Now let's move on to Pisces Miner. So that's another miner that's up and coming. Now the status update I have on the Pisces Miner is that they have a CE certification. They have completed all of the stages and they are now saying that they anticipate that they will open pre-orders in early August. Now the Pisces Miner, from my understanding, is a full miner. I'm not entirely sure why they would produce another full miner if everything is going to be switching over to light hotspots after the validators come online which is hopefully imminent now i think they would have been better off producing the light minor versions uh, they would have hopefully been you know cheaper etc but that's how it is it has a 4 dbi antenna one last thing about the pisces miner is that according to their hip 19 application they do not intend to sell Pisces miner in the US they are only intending to sell these miners in the EU and UK because they only have the CE certification and they have no intentions apparently to expand into other countries and expand the miner shipping production on a global scale now the last bit is that Helltech automation they have also put in an application as a manufacturer. They're going to be shipping to US and to the EU. They already have their CE certification, but they are currently waiting for the FCC certification. In terms of the application process, they have been KYC verified. They have now sent over a sample to the Helium team for them to conduct some tests, etc., and see if that sample if that miner is up to scratch once that is passed and the fcc uh, certification is passed they will then hopefully make some announcements in terms of what they intend to do for their production they appear to be a well-established company who has been working with lura and lura van technology so there is a chance that they may actually be able to sell a few things from stock initially now that's it, it in terms of all the helium hotspot manufacturers. One more thing that I want to tell you about is that there are in in total about 38 HIP19 proposals in place in various stages of approval. So there are going to be a lot more vendors that will be adding into these updates going forward. If you want to remain up to date in terms of these applications and everything else, when it comes to helium hotspot manufacturers please make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that you hit that bell icon to get those updates so once again thank you very much for all your support thank you for tuning back in look after yourselves and i will speak to you soon